What's up, normies? Welcome to my talk, Hockey's for Spreadsheets Cookbook, Practical Solutions from Control Era to F4. I'm your speaker, Zachary Chechabat. I work as a data analytics engineer at Ritual, a company that sells vitamins and vitamin accessories. And let's get going over some useful Excel hotkeys. But first, who is this for? This is for data scientists. So all these uh, key bindings will be for Max and primarily focused around Excel. Um, but really, this is for data people who want to impress business people. As a data person, I've gotten a lot of spreadsheets in my day. I've had to send a lot of spreadsheets out and it's useful to know how to work with them because it's, it's the most used data interface among business people and being good at them is very helpful as a data person. So let's get started. Uh, I'm not gonna go over these hotkeys, but these are kind of the baseline expectation. Um, and then let's start with moving quickly around a spreadsheet. So first we're gonna do command arrow, uh, in this case, command down. This will allow you to move to the bottom of this data set, but in reality, what it's doing is it's moving to the first unfilled cell. Um, so if you have a large data set, you can see if you can have any missing values in there. Um, you can combine this with shift and command to highlight the selection. That way um, you can select only one column without having to select the whole column in case there are multiple data sets on one page, which happens. But uh, utilizing this shift command, you can also get, um, when you use it, you can see that at the bottom here, uh, Excel does some like simple aggregations upon your selection, which is super useful. Um, I just, Google Sheets does this as well, and you can switch between aggregations. Um, you notice that there is an asterisk on the bottom right of this page, and that means that this hotkey is only applicable to Excel. And what this hotkey does, is it, it turns on the auto filter, which allows you to kind of like start to get sorting and filtering a data set without having to uh, search the menu for where this could be. Um, this is really useful if you just want to get di start diving into analysis right away. Um, command page up allows you to move between uh, spread spreadsheets really quickly in one Excel workbook and is really handy for having multiple data sets or when you're doing when you're writing a formula that spans across two workbooks. Um, and now speaking of formulas, let's talk about moving around a formula. So if you have a formula, a quick way to get into it is just to press F2. Um, and this will enter in your, I think, formula editing mode. And then within this mode, you can, you can use the keyboard, no mouse needed to add or remove stuff from the formula. If you have a cell reference, you can use command T, um, to apply a, I guess like cell reference state. I don't really know what the official name is called, but it's the dollar signs and they, they reference when if you copy this formula into another cell where like is the cell reference going to be permanently the same or is it going to stick the or is it going to stick the column or the row um, and now on to my favorite formula and the first signifier of being a fancy excel user is vlookup essentially what i think of this is as a join here's kind of the documentation um, you're gonna use the lookup value and then you're gonna do the array and then the column in that array that you're gonna return. And the lookup value must be on the left. And then the last one is the match type, which must be zero if you want an exact match. I don't know why anyone uses uh, an approximate match, but this is kind of clunky and it has that spatial referencing that Excel likes. So the more modern version is called XLOOKUP and it's kind of, it makes a lot more sense where you have a lookup value, you're looking for your foreign key column, so to say, than the column you're returning. Um, it defaults to approximate, or it defaults to exact match, and it has an optional parameter that allows you to set a default value if something is not found. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this. You can find me on Twitter at Chechervat and on Mastodon at whatever that says. Um, I hope you enjoy this and happy spreadsheeting. Bye.